guys, I'm back with another video, and in this video, it is June favorite. So, let's just get started. I don't have a whole lot of products, but I do have some. So, so the first thing I have been loving this month is this foundation combination. Foundation combination. First, I really, really have been loving this Makeup Forever Face and Body Foundation. This consistency is very um, liquidy. So it, when you put it on, it's very thin. It's kind of like the NARS Luminous one. So yeah, it's very thin. It doesn't get, this isn't full coverage, but it is like light coverage, but it still like takes away all my flaws. And it is so awesome. So I really, really like this and I love the way that it dries on my face, but because it's like summer and I'm self tanning and stuff like that, I have been absolutely loving taking this and mixing these two together. And this is the Maybelline BB Bronze B Dream. No. Oh my God. Maybelline Dream Bronze BB. So it's like their bronze BB cream. I have been loving these two together. So I will pump um, probably like two pumps of this and then a little bit of this on my hand, mix it all together, dab it on my face and take um, a foundation brush, like something like this. And I just love buffing it into my face. I don't like to use a beauty blender with it. For some reason, I like to use the, the brush. I don't know why. But anyways, I've just been loving that combination and I have a tutorial using it and I mix this with my... Um, L'Oreal True Match, but I've been loving it with this one especially, but this goes good with like any foundation. It's just, it, it really does like deepen your foundation, but it also gives you like a nice bronze. I just really, really have been liking this product. So moving on to a drugstore brow product. This is relatively new to the drugstore. Oh, I probably got this, um, a week or two, no, probably two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And this is the Milani Stay Put a Brow Color. So I have really, really been liking this. I was really surprised by the pigmentation. It does not last as long as the Anastasia Dip Brow, but I think that it is a really good alternative, especially if you don't want to spend the money on the Dip Brow, because the Dip Brow is expensive. Anyways, I have really been liking this, and it comes with this little brush. And the brush end is like so nice and thin and precise. I just have really, really been liking this, so I'm really impressed by this, Milani. I really, really like that. Okay, so our next product are two lip products, and they're from the same brand, and I've had these these two lip products for a while now, but I only started really using them, and these are by Aromi, and I believe these are, oh yeah, liquid lipsticks. So these are the liquid lipsticks by Aromi, and these are all vegan-free, like vegan-free. I mean, they're like vegan, and so they're like all natural, so, so there's that, but I really, really have been liking these. The color isn't like that pigmented when you put it on and, and the formulation isn't so thick because sometimes with the liquid lipstick, it can be really thick. I don't know if that makes sense, but sometimes with the liquid lipstick, I find it very heavy on my lips. And with these, I don't, I don't even feel them when they're on. So the two colors that I have are this one, which is Toasted Almond. And it looks like that. It's like a nice rosy, mauvey pink color. And then I also got Desert Taupe, which is like a dupe for Lime Crime Cashmere. Which, you know, I'm all about those gray toned, beige, beige I like to call it, um, lip colors. So that is it right there. It is like a nice gray. It's awesome. So I really, really have been liking these. And they smell really nice, too. Let me smell. Mm, yeah, they smell really nice. Next is two blushes. So I um, gave into the hype and I bought Luminoso, I think about two weeks ago, I want to say. Maybe I've only had it a week. I don't know. Maybe I'm cheating a little bit, but I have absolutely been loving it. Oh my god. So I previously bought this one, which is a Berry Amour, and Berry Amour is nothing compared to Luminoso. Oh my god. Like seriously, it is so pretty. And I love putting on a blush first, so like a mauve taupey blush. I know it sounds really weird. Um, and then I like to take Luminoso and put it on top. It is so pretty. Oh my god. I am like obsessed. Then... Around the same time I bought that Milani thing, um, I saw that 
I saw that Neutrogena had like a new stand of new blushes and, and bronzers and stuff like that. And so I decided to just buy one of them just to give them a shot. And this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush in Rosy. This is such a pretty blush, you guys. Oh my god. So it has like a nice sheen to it. And it's so nice and light. I like to put this on top of my blush too. Can you see that? Like, oh, no, you can't really. It's right here. But if you look at it, it has like the slightest sheen to it. And it's so pretty. I have it on my cheeks today. And it is so pretty. I would definitely recommend checking this out. It is so, so, so pretty. So, so pretty. The next product is a primer and I'm kind of late to the game with this one. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin. I don't know why I picked this up. I just saw it there and it looks so cute. Like, and it just looks so cute. So I was like, oh, I'll give this a try. So, Oh my gosh though, I've really really been liking it. So I like to use this on my work days when I don't want to use this because this is expensive. Um, and it really really gets rid of your fine lines and your pores. I though feel like you have to wait to let it set in because it can get a little bit greasy or like slippery. So I like to just set it on and like go turn on my curling iron or something like that and let it just sit on my face just for a little bit. So not a long time because I don't have time in the morning, but just for a little bit, just so it's not, just so when I put my foundation on, it's not like slip and sliding all over the place. I was thinking about doing like a side by side comparison of these two products. So if you want to see that, let me know down below. I think that would be interesting. So, but these are the two that I use on work days when I don't want to use my makeup forever. Next product is something that I literally have been using for, I don't even know, I've been using this for so long, but I thought I'd mention it because um, it's summer and yeah. So this is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. I get mine in tan, which sometimes can come up a little orange, so I think I'm gonna, I like to try different ones, so I think I'm gonna buy the medium one next time. I bought the medium one, I bought the light one, I bought so many, I just haven't bought the really dark one, because yeah. I absolutely love this and what I have been doing okay so previously I used to just use this directly and it is very pigmented and you have to rub it in really fast or else it can get streaky but how I've been using it recently is I like to mix this with my moisturizer so I'll probably take the same amount so one part this one part moisturizer mix it in my hands and put it on my legs I put it sometimes on my arms I sometimes put it on my chest I put this stuff everywhere it is awesome it seriously gets rid of all your imperfections it just makes your legs look so much better now when I don't have this on like I feel like my legs look so nasty like it's when I'm not tanned or anything like that like sometimes even after I self tan I use this so I absolutely love this seriously and everyone I tell to go get this they are in love with it too so I would definitely check this out it's like a miracle worker so that is all my beauty favorites I know it wasn't that many but um, I don't know. I don't like these videos to be super long. What um, TV shows have you guys been watching? So recently me and Zach got Netflix and we have HBO Go or slash now because we have a free trial of it and usually we use my brother's account but but they're moving right now so I can't use my brother's account right now so we are actually using it but it, they have like a free trial. So we have HBO Go now and we have Netflix because I recently got Netflix because I haven't had Netflix for so long. Oh my god anyways so the show I have like been loving is Parenthood do you guys watch Parenthood did you watch Parenthood oh my god you guys I literally have tears in my eyes after every single episode like it's so touching and it's just so nice and oh my god I just love it and I love how you get involved in all the in the families it's like you know all separate families from like one big family it's just I really like it and I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and I'm thinking about marriage and I'm thinking about things like that but I don't know I just love it it's just such a great show so check out Parenthood if you haven't it's on Netflix we've been watching Orange is the New Black too for some reason I cannot get into it that much this season like I cannot get into Orange is the New Black I don't know why I just am mm, I don't know. I just haven't really been liking it, but I think we've only watched like the first like two episodes So maybe I just need to keep watching it. So another show. Oh, we are now watching the seasons of the Sopranos We haven't he Zach's never watched it. I've never watched it So that's what we've been watching is the Sopranos. We are probably at the end of season one right now so 
yeah, I've been really liking that as well. And then True Detective just started. Just, just started. So, I've been really liking that. It's kind of eerie, though. Like, the first two episodes, did you guys watch that? It's kind of, like, depressing. Like, it's like, oh my god. It's depressing. Okay, so that was fun. So, that was all my favorites. Um, I hope that you guys had a great month, and I hope you're having a great day. And subscribe if you haven't already. That would make me so happy. And I will see you in my next video.